Hey there everybody, let's talk print on demand success. I get a lot of questions on this channel and the most popular question or one of the most popular questions I get is what do you actually use when you're trying to sell print on demand items? And so in this video, I wanna highlight an app that I use called Insight Factory. And there's a free version and there's a pro version. And it's tough to see what's in the pro version. So in this video, I'm actually gonna show you the difference between the two. So here's the free version of Insight Factory. And at the top, we can see there's best selling items, keyword tool, Redbubble trends, Redbubble tag generator. You actually get a lot of stuff here in the free program. I'm gonna click on Etsy best selling items to start. So inside the free version, you actually get quite a lot of stuff. So here is the Etsy trends. And we can see here as I scroll on down, there's psychic gifts reading, Bad Bunny merch for kids, for example. When I hover over this Bad Bunny merch for kids, we can see there's 26 listings on the first page under that keyword phrase, got sales. And there's also 1.6 thousand or 1600 listings on Etsy. So this is an in high demand item right now. You can click on the details of it and you can see here it actually breaks down stuff like the listing age and the tags that are used. This is really nice. You can even copy the tags. However, the last sale is not available. Let's jump into the pro version. We'll click on get started. And when I go under Etsy trends, I get the exact same screen that pops up. So here I'm gonna go under Bad Bunny Merch for Kids and I'm gonna click on the details. And here I can actually see the last sale and how often it happens. I also don't have any limitations in here. I can actually have as many listings showing as I want. There's also a little button here on the right that says show extra stats. When I click on that, I can see it's got favorites, views, the last sale, the title. There's a ton of information here under the pro version that's not available in the free version. Okay, we're back in the free version on Insight Factory and I've clicked on the left-hand side under shirt niches and I can see here on the right-hand side there's seventh grade teacher shirt and there's 20 listings on the first page in Etsy that had sales. There's 849 listings, including ads, on Etsy on the US version. This is an in high demand item right now. When I scroll on down, I can see there's multiple pages but when I click on page four, for example, it's grayed out and it says it's the free version and I only have limited access. When I go into the pro version, however, and I click on the right-hand side, seventh grade teacher shirt, and it's the exact same information, but when I click down to the bottom, I can see there's multiple pages, and I can actually click on any of the pages, and it's going to give me even more information. There is no limitation. It's a really nice feature. Insight Factory is good for print on demand, but it's also good, it's great actually, for digital designs as well. So under the left-hand side menu, I've clicked on Etsy digital products, and we can see here there's a bunch that come up. On the right-hand side, I've got Butterfly and Flowers Tumblr PNG. This has got 22 listings on the first page that had sales. There's 1.8 listings that have similar tags. And as I scroll on down, I can see there's number of pages. And when I click on it, I do not get any more information. It's really limited in the free version. However, it's really useful. You can still see the first page. On the pro version, however, there is no limitation. So I can scroll on down and I can see a whole bunch of different digital designs. And when I click on multiple pages, it just keeps on going. I can see exactly what is transpiring on Etsy. And I can click on the details button as well. And this actually gives me real-time data from Etsy. I can go in and basically spy on other stores and I can see exactly when their sales were, how many favorites they've got, different tags that they use. This is a massive time saver. I'm really starting to take Merch by Amazon seriously and I feel like it's a huge underutilized market and will be over the next five or 10 years. So as much as I love Redbubble, Merch by Amazon to me represents a massive increase and I need to work hard to get my shop looking better on Merch. So using Insight Factory, this is something I've used quite a bit lately. Now under the free plan, we can see here the top three results. We've got Merry Fourth of Christmas with Joe Biden, and we can see that's in demand right now. Bestseller ranks 562,000. There's a growth rate. There's a BSR drop, which is your bestseller rating. And we can see when it was updated. This is an in high demand item right now. However, I can't really see anything else. I have to unlock stuff and I need to get full access in order to do it. So here's the pro plan. And under the pro plan, when I click on Merch by Amazon Trends, it's gonna show me different things. There's a lot of different trending results. So it's not gonna show me the exact same ones at the top that the free plan showed me. But I'm just gonna use this one here as an example. This is an 80s 8-bit Halloween group costume. This is basically one of the ghosts from Pac-Man. 
It's just a couple eyeballs. And I'm going to click on the details underneath. We can see the best seller rank, 202,000. That's pretty good. Growth rate and the best seller rate. And we can see under details, when I click on it, it actually takes me right to the Amazon listing itself. I find this really helpful because I have evidence now that this shirt is actually selling on Amazon and I know exactly now what type of description to write in that's actually going to help the algorithm find my shirt. Now I'm not going to copy it word for word, but it gives me an idea of what to write so that I can at least have a fighting chance to get seen because Amazon's massive and there's a lot of competition on there. This is a great t-shirt idea. Now I'm going to put a link in the video description below on how you can sign up for the pro plan on Insight Factory. I do want to point out the link in the video description is an affiliate link and that means that if you were to click on the link and you were to purchase something, I would receive a small commission. Thanks again for watching everybody and here's another video on how you can supercharge your print on demand journey.